Hi, so I wanted to come on and show everyone how, well, an example of how you can keep your IFTA filings organized. This is a sample Google Sheet that I created for a client. Now, Google Sheets is a great resource to use. It comes along with your Gmail account. And the amazing thing is that your Gmail account is free, so all these resources are free and great to keep everything organized for future reference. This particular Google Sheet that I created for this client is to keep all this information for if they're organized, their EOB does not allow them to upload a CSV or like an Excel spreadsheet. So they have to create, I have to create um, a way for them to keep everything organized in one spot. So this is what I came up with. And the way that we would use this uh, particular spreadsheet is um, I created the date it was prepared. So the date that this particular, if the filing is going to be prepared, the year, the quarter, and this right here where it says total gallons, total cost, total miles, it's going to add up all the gallons that we put in here, all the total cost that we put in here, and then total miles. So all these that are indicated on here in gray are the particular categories that we need to file our IFTA. And in here, for example, this one has a drop down list. And for example, say we're inputting the information for Alabama, we would choose Alabama. And for example purposes, say this was driver one, and it was vehicle one, fuel type, we in this particular case, we are only dealing with diesel, so that's why diesel is the only drop down option. Now, if you are dealing with other um, fuel types that are not diesel or more than diesel, then the, the, you do have the option under data validation to add diesel in here. So for example, say we add propane, we click save, and then here you're gonna see that now we have the option of either diesel or propane. And then gallons, uh, we're going to get the gallons under receipts. Again, these are for example purposes. We're going to get the gallons. In this example, it looks like the gallon was 165.7. Now, again, this is for example purposes. If we were to be inputting Alabama, we're going to put the total amount of gallons for uh, the quarter for Alabama, not just one individual receipt. Now, again, this is a sample uh, Google Sheet that I created for this particular client, and this is what worked for them. You can adjust the uh, Google Sheet to what works best for you. What is the best way to keep this information organized so that when you have to go back to it, you understand what's going on, on this in this Google Sheet. And then the total cost, again, examples, this would be the total cost for the whole quarter. For this example, we're going to put 301 and 34 cents. And then vendor, say it's pilot, total miles. Again, this is coming from your ELD or the total miles that you have on file. And in this case, 2,120, 2,120.6. Now for this next column here under ELD mileage report, the cool thing about Google Sheets is that, so this is my report for the mileage. So I can go in here, right click, copy, and this is the address to this mileage report. And I would input it into here. Now of course we can always adjust this depending on what works the, for you. We can also make it wrap, wrap around so that it doesn't create this long column here. And then you would link it. And then same thing for receipts. So these are the receipts that pertain to this particular filing. So you'll copy the link and then copy and paste. And of course we would do this going down for every month 
I mean, for every state, you know, driver, so keep going. Um, say this was uh, truck two, uh, truck one still, because I like, in this particular case, we're going to create a spreadsheet for each driver just in case there's ever anything that's not adding up in the IFTA. We can go back to the exact driver, exact truck where it's not uh, calculating correctly. And then uh, diesel, and then, I, know, I don't know, 150 gallons, total cost, say 400. And then same thing. Again, this, again, it, it's whatever works best for you. Some people don't want to put the vendor in there because the receipt has all the information. So what's the point of doing a double? Again, whatever works best for you. Say for Arizona, it was another 2,000 miles. Now, you see how every single time I'm putting numbers in here, this part over here is also calculating the total miles. Well, that's the cool thing about Google Sheets. All you have to do is put the formula that you need to use and it's going to add it for you also same thing here for gallons it's adding these two together uh, also for gallons now everything is in one spreadsheet so you, if you follow this link here it's going to take you exactly where all the documents that we use to come up with these numbers are so this is the report which we i just showed you here which is this one right here and then also the link for the receipts, which are all these right here. And um, this is just a folder that I created under iDrive. All receipts for IFTA are under this uh, folder and I have divided them by quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, quarter four. And then in these are all the receipts that pertain to quarter one. And this is the mileage report that pertains to quarter one. So that I wanted to come up, uh, on here and show you guys, hopefully this is something that um, you guys can use on how to create or how to keep your if the mileage and receipts organized in one screen so that if you have to access it quickly, it's all there. So let me know if this was helpful. Let me know any additional questions that you might have or let me know what type of videos you would like to see.